Shall we begin? Welcome to the UK. We made it. Uh, the boat had really great sailing to here, smooth sea, but now it's raining cats and dogs. What a surprise! We left sunny France behind, spent a few days sightseeing there. Perfect weather, we crossed the channel and it's raining. But in this trip, this episode, we will show you the south of the UK, van life. Scotland, uh, Cornwall, Brighton. Right, but first stop, unknown as usual. So we'll see where Boris will bring yep. us. So come along with us. Welcome to the UK! Hi. I haven't seen any rain in three months and now it's been raining since we arrived yesterday. Plan was to do some sightseeing for the coastal road. But uh, it's really raining heavily right now. The rain can't stop us to move further along the coast. Finally stopped raining or stopped almost raining, just a little drizzle. Just had lunch, we're here at Beachy Head. Beachy Head. It's white rocks, white cliffs. I can't see it. Ah, it's very, the highest cliff of uh, Great Britain. Yeah, and, and a very popular suicide point. Yeah. But not for today, the suicide is not no. for us. No. It's too chilly. Too overcast. Beachy head, top. Glad to be out of the car for a while. Uh, we're going to continue this coastal road to Burley Gap and, the, and seven the Seven Sisters. I think it's more or less the same. Uh, rocky outcrops in the sea, and afterwards we go. Uh, we continue to Brighton. Yep. Right, but right. Stop training, so it's, yeah. it's great. Next stop is Burley Gap, and as you can see, the rain is back. There's a viewpoint behind me. Uh, I can already see some white cliffs, so let's check it out. So, this was in and out the car. Very quick visit because the weather is really bad, raining heavily. No Seven Sisters today because we have to pay £12 just to park here and then it's a hike, it's a walk to. Uh, one hour? No. Uh, at least two kilometers one way. So we decided, decided to skip Seven Sisters and, and head to Brighton. Brighton. Try our luck there. <laughs> to find a parking spot. We found a spot, uh, Brighton. It's outside Brighton because it's very difficult to park inside the city. It's not the most sexy spot, it's not the most quiet spot, but it will do the job for two days. Tomorrow we explore the town, you can catch a bus very nearby. Morning, we just got off the bus, we're in Brighton here, we're going to do a day of sightseeing and food, food tour. Yeah. Vegan but for more of that, that's our bus, double decker bus. But for more about Brighton and the food tour, we're going to make a separate vlog. So for now, switch off for Brighton. Morning, we left Brighton behind us, it's a bright and sunny day. Took small and narrow roads to Fulking, a little village in the middle of the Devil's Dyke. Beft, busy Brighton behind us, although it was at the blast yesterday, it was busy. Now, the only sounds we hear, the sound of a spring and the birds, the birds singing. So, change clothes and go for a hike. Good 
morning. Now we left yesterday behind us. We had a great hike in Falking. The weather was a little cloudy, but it was still okay. But after we found a really great camping spot for Boris and ourselves in the forest. Uh, we made some small hikes from the camping pot spot. And now we're on our way to New Forest National Park. There we hired a camping spot. And now it is concentrating on the roads to go there. But this morning, I after... almost forgot the most important thing of this morning. Yes, before we did the hike, a small hike, we had pancakes. Good ones? I hope so. Very good ones. <laughs> We just arrived at our camp spot here, checked in uh, about an hour ago, we just had lunch. Uh, we arrived in Eshurst at uh, New Forest Wildlife Park. This is a camping in the forest. The main reason is because one, ponies. <laughs> the ponies. Two, it's quite difficult to wild park here in uh, Great Britain as you already a squirrel and a wild horse. And three, a shower. So this is camping in the forest, very green, very natural, uh, wild ponies roaming around. So what we are going to do here is... Checking wild ponies. <laughs> checking out wild ponies. And walk around. Do and some small walks. Big banana bread. Ah, big banana bread of course. Now the banana bread is cooling down, the perfect timing to go for a little walk. Good morning. It's a chilly morning, it was only 5 degrees this morning when we woke up. Luckily we have our diesel heater installed and we woke up. You see blue sky and the main attraction of this park, they're all on, out and about. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine wild horses right now. Let me show you. Hello, Hello horses. Hello horses. Yeah. All dressed up. Oh yeah. To go for lunch. It's Sunday, so when in Rome, do as Romans do. When in the UK, US people in the UK, we go for Sunday roast. Sunday roast. But next door we have a reservation for a plant-based roast. Just have to cross this pasture with the horses roaming around. One happy kit. We're first timers, so I guess this is a Sunday roast, baked potatoes, cauliflower, red cabbage and green cabbage probably. And of course, red wine gravy. Thank you. <laughs> Chef just brought us some extras, broccoli, extra gravy, extra potatoes. What a treat. Oh, you're going to love the gravy. It's quite the experience. So good. It's really autumn. It's autumn food. Perfect time. We love the UK. Yes. So, 
our time in New Forest National Park, it's a national park, our time in New, Nas in New Forest National Park has come to an end. We have lunch, we did a little hike this morning. Yeah. Uh, and now? And this afternoon we have a three hour drive ahead of us west to our next national park, Dartmoor National, national park. park. Uh, today everything is closed, so the visitor center will be closed because it's the funeral of, funeral of Queen Elizabeth, Elizabeth II. Uh, but tomorrow, first thing in the morning, we go to the visitor center, ask for a hike, and to our more national park it will be tomorrow. Lunch time. We follow the small winding roads into Dartmoor National Park. Finally, after a long ride, you have arrived in Dartmoor National Park. It's beautiful here, stunning views. This is the place where we supposed to be for our night. According to our app it's allowed to camp here. But it's a bit strange. You can camp here just alongside the road. It's a very quiet road. No problem but look at this views in the middle of the park. Surrounded by sheep. So I don't know if we can stay here. What do you think? Uh, this this place looks amazing. Really to stay here with Boris in nature, in Dartmoor National Park. But they are so, so strict here, so I don't think it's a good thing to be here and go further in town and pay for a parking spot. There's a shop who rents out spots for five quid. Going to check out that place. Let's do that. Okay, let's go. We found our spot for the night. Uh, it's actually in the middle of an old little quaint town. I'm going to explore it in a minute and you see not bad. There's a bench here, little stream. It's a nice quiet place. Yeah, five pound and we're safe. We're allowed to park here so no worries. Whitecomb in the Moor is a pretty village steeped in history on central Dartmoor. It's a glorious day to go for a hike. Unfortunately, we don't have internet connection here, so we drove a little bit uphill this morning to have connection and we downloaded a few hikes on Komoot. We're all packed now, back at the parking lot, ready to go. This was a fun path. Now we have a well-deserved treat after a 
after this hike. It looks delicious. It's lemon cake, vegan lemon cake, and oat cappuccino. Oh yes, warm. Oh. Mm. Very tasty. Mm. We'll stay here for a week. <laughs> Morning, morning, day two. Morning. Day two, hike number two today. It's another beautiful day. We decided to stay and do another hike. Ready? Oh, yeah. not ready. I still have my pajamas on. Okay, ready? Ready. simple lunch right now because this morning in the village there wasn't any loaf of bread to find the only thing we find was crackers and hummus with some tomatoes simple lunch but what a view what a view already not bad As you can see, we are no longer in the national park. We came down to the Riviera. British Riviera. Palm trees, sweeping beaches, and lots of hotels. But Torquay is also very known for Agatha, Agatha Christie. Agatha Christie. It's the birthplace of Agatha Christie. She's so we're going to spend a few hours here, and after that, we go back to the next national park, Exmoor. Exmoor National Park. We have arrived at Exmoor National Park and we found an excellent spot. It's amazing. It's, it's windswept, so it's going to be very cold, I guess. But it's amazing. Look at this view. One million view. One million dollar view. Going <laughs> to start with a coffee, uh, unfor unfortunately, well, you know, there's no Wi Fi connection, no internet connection, so we have to play with ourselves. We have playing cards, exploring kittens. <laughs> because we're staying in the middle of the park, there are no shops. Time for DIY. Make my own rotis. Dough is still rising. So, you have a coffee first. Scrambled tofu, a perfect match for lunch. A gloomy and rainy morning turned into a glorious noon. This weather calls for a hike, of course. Over there, we can see our destination for tomorrow already. Wales. Wales. 
and in between is the sea. On the other side of the bay or the sea. That's for tomorrow. First, enjoy this weather. Lovely day. As you can see, we are no longer parked in the National Park, Exmoor National Park, but here next to a reservoir. You maybe ask why? Well, I tell you. Uh, last night we fled Exmoor National Park because there were people making a campfire next to us, uh, making noise. We were in a smoke filled van. We were very rowdy, so we decided to leave and look for another spot. We drove over an hour in the pitch black narrow roads here in southwest England. It was quite dangerous, but we managed to find a spot we didn't know where we ended up until we opened our door this morning this beautiful reservoir it's pretty good weather today it's going to be our last day here in southwest England because today we're crossing into Wales so this means the end of this vlog next week I hope to see you for our Wales vlog so for now give this a thumbs up subscribe it's for free I'm going into the van because it starts raining still England, you know? <laughs> <laughs> 